All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie, we're back, we're back with another video, as you can see, a different location uh, on the road uh, this morning, at least uh, in my hometown, Stratford, uh, for Record Store Day number two. This is Record Store Day drop number two, and uh, I'll show you what I picked up uh, early this morning at Sound Fixation. It doesn't look like the other record store uh, in town is uh, participating in uh, Record Store Day, at least for drop number two. Um, it feels funny to say drop number two with record store day, but uh, here we are. This is, yes, record store day uh, drop at number two. And I did pick up a few things this morning, and I know Trevor uh, said he didn't get a lot of the product that uh, he was ordering uh, that came in, so he was a little disappointed. But I did pick up a few things. There was a one that was tops on my list uh, that did arrive. This is the Almond Brothers Band, Fillmore West, and uh, this is January 31st, 1971. This had been uh, issued on a compact disc. I have shown it on one of my videos, uh, but this, of course, is the vinyl release for Record Store Day. And uh, Glow in the Dark, limited edition, numbered poster inside included. And this was originally supposed to be for uh, Record Store Day uh, in April, but uh, got released for Record Store Day drop number two. So let's uh, take a look inside. And... I'm pretty excited about this. It's a great, uh, great uh, concert. Uh, one of the last shows uh, with the Allman Brothers at uh, the Fillmore West, and this features the classic lineup uh, with Dwayne Allman and uh, Dickie Betts. And, of course, Barry Oakley. This has been uh, issued on uh, a double CD that includes a bonus track from another show. So this is uh, simply the Fillmore West show. And, yeah, I've never shown uh, records in a car before, so... Hopefully uh, you'll be able to see everything here. Nice uh, write-up that was originally uh, in the CD package. And apparently this is glow-in-the-dark uh, vinyl, but uh, I don't think I'll be able to show you uh, that accurately. But this is the a poster. It's more like a, more like an insert, but it's nice. It's, it's nice, uh, nice quality paper. But uh, that is the insert. And let's take a look at the vinyl. This is a double album. And it's in uh, nice uh, lined sleeves with the uh, funky, funky labeling. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the uh, sort of glow in the dark uh, aspect here early in the morning. But there wasn't a bad little crowd. Uh, there's never really any like serious lineups uh, at the Stratford stores, although uh, limited to how many people can be in the store at any one time. So there you have that. Okay, so there you have the Almond Brothers. And uh, yeah, pretty happy to pick that up. It's a great, great live set. And uh, did pick up uh, the Doors. I don't know if you'll be able to see this properly. This is the Soft Parade Stripped, uh, the Doors. Uh, this had been included on CD in the uh, Soft Parade uh, box set that included the you know the vinyl and the, and the CDs. But uh, this had not been released on, on vinyl until now. So this is many of the songs uh, from Soft Parade Stripped Down. I really did enjoy the CD. That was included. Uh, this is a numbered edition out of uh, 12,000. This is number 6,940. I think you can see there. And in this kind of, you know, the sort of plasticky bag kind of thing. So we'll open this up and uh, take a look inside. So we have that. And take a look at this. And wow, very clear by Okay, very nice. Very nice. Now, this was a complete blind buy. This is from Record Store Day, but this just looked uh, too interesting to uh, pass up. Uh, this is uh, Psych France, Volume 6. I don't have uh, Volumes 1 to 5, uh, 1960 to 1970. All the writing uh, is in French, <laughs> so... Uh, my wife, a former French teacher, she'll have to uh, translate it for me. But it just looked too interesting to pass up. It, the price was uh, pretty decent. Again, this is a, a Record Store Day a release, and it is uh, for this uh, Record Store Day. Because sometimes it is interesting on the shelves how they can put older Record Store Day stuff that you're not sure if it's from this drop or the previous drop or from even earlier. But this was, I believe, from this uh, Record Store Day. So... Looks like it's uh, not line sleeve, but paper sleeve, and the uh, vinyl looks nice. And there you go. Always have to reload. 
hitting my rear view mirror. And I did pick up one other album that I don't uh, really own on uh, vinyl, at least. This is, was a nice uh, nice price on this one. This was a Deep Purple Made in Japan uh, reissue for a Rocktober Rhino. And seems appropriate with October coming up. Uh, this is Deep Purple's, of course, classic live double album on limited edition purple vinyl. And it was a nice price, so I thought, well, I'll pick that up too. And support local record stores. So we'll slip that off. And uh, this looks really nice. You know, what can you say about this classic album? I'm pretty excited to have this. I do have a big box set of this. Uh, oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Don't know if you can see the colors there, but it's quite nice. And so, yeah, the other album will be pretty much the same. And on the, uh, interesting, on the uh, Warner Brothers Palm Tree uh, label. Okay, so there you go. So those are my pickups, uh, fairly limited uh, from this uh, time uh, for uh, late September for Record Store Day drop number two. But uh, there's still one more to go in the end of October, and who knows if they'll be doing any sort of Black Friday thing. So thanks so much uh, for dropping by, and hopefully you were able to see the uh, albums okay. And uh, enjoy, enjoy uh, your Record Store Day. If you're shopping, enjoy your Record Store Day drop number two.